Hi, it's Marie from Secret About Box, and I have a bit of a quandary that I just learned how to solve. I have an Android smartphone. I know, I know, y'all gonna flood the comments with, why don't you have an iPhone? You have a Mac. But, long, long story. And my issue was with trying to get my calendar in the Mac here and my contacts to sync with my Android. So there's actually a really cool thing to do. You can go into System Preferences, which I'm going to do. And right here, Internet Accounts, click in there. Now, I have mine set up for a couple of different ones, but I'm going to show you how to do this real quick. You go here where it says Google, click there, and this is going to come down. And it's basically going to ask you to enter your email. What you do. And then you click next. And then it's going to give you your password. So enter your password, click next again. Now it's going to ask you to select what apps. Now you could go mail, contacts, calendars, messages, which is of course your little messaging program, and notes. Now since I have another Google account set with my calendar and my contacts, I'm not going to use it. And I don't really use messages. I've never quite figured out how to do that yet. If anybody knows what exactly you can do with that, please mention it in the comments below. So I'm going to just tick that off for now. Then you just tap Done. And as you can see, I have this. And then I could go back later into Internet Accounts and just tick off whichever ones I want from there and for instance I have right here the other Google one that I said about up here I have it where it everything's ticked off so so the contacts and the calendars that will go right into my smartphone which is really neat and also let me pull up my calendar very quickly. You can go and see, like right here, it has on my Mac and on my Google calendars. And it works perfectly for whenever I need to put something on my phone right away and I want it to sync up with Google to where I can view that on my Mac, I can view it on my smartphone, eventually I'll get an iPhone, and then I could use the iCloud for everything, but until then, this will have to do. So let me close that out, and I will have some more tutorials up eventually. I am still figuring things out with El Capitan, and I will see you next time.